Hi, Madeline. Good to see you. Hi. Good to see you too. <laughs> um, do you have any difficulty getting online? No, I. I mean, two years. I think I'm a whiz at it now. <laughs> okay, good. And um, it's our first time meet. And let me introduce what we are going to do today. And overall, we'll have twelve minutes. And I'd like to ask you, beginning by ask you, you, uh, questions. What brought you in today? And uh, then we'll discuss. And uh, for me to get to know your opinion and your uh, situation, and then if that went on well, we'll set some goals together, and and for the future sections, and I will terminate the section by then. And how does that sound? That 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 will work. Mm. Um. Do you have any questions for me? No, that's that's good. Mm. Mm. Um, so tell me what brought, brings you in over here uh, well my 35th birthday is coming up in three weeks um, and I'm kind of miserable thinking about it I, I mean I'm a pretty positive person but whenever I think about turning 35 I'm I kind of can't believe I'm 35 and my life looks like this. I kind of, I don't love my job. I'm single. I'm not married. I Marriage isn't even any bit of a possibility right now because I'm not dating anyone. And I kind of, I've, got all these friends who are turning 35 and they're pretty excited they've got a husband or kids or awesome job and I kind of think what am I celebrating at 35 I've kind of just drifted from 20 to 35 doing nothing Oh, I see. Um, you have a lot of things going on over there. Uh, mostly it's your 35 years old birthday is coming soon. And, and that uh, brings you to think about your life. And uh, you have been single and not married. And, and you're not satisfied with your um, your current job as well. And um, you're looking forward to um change of life and but you're studying wondering how does that happen when you brings you to 35 years old that that sounds um right to you yeah that's that's pretty much it yes mm, uh, tell me um when when did you start to have that kind of feelings I mean, I've kind of always, I, I'm, I'm not the most decisive person, um, but my, I'm a bit like my mom in that way. Uh, so I never really, yeah, I guess they, I've never really made any big decisions. I mean, I chose a job because someone I knew in her office was, she had a job opening and kind of I thought yeah I out of school and I'd like some money and so that's I kind of said yes and life was pretty good and I don't know so I feel like I've been <laughs> drifting like my whole life um but I've just I think it's in the last five years that I've really felt like I see everybody else is doing either doing something cool or like has an awesome job or they're getting their PhD or they have kids and a home. And I guess I feel like they're moving into a life that I like, I'm, I'm nowhere near and I'm just, I'm just, 
I feel like stuck. Like I don't even know. I feel like I just wasted the last at least five years, 10 maybe. And I guess I'm looking ahead to future birthdays. I can't imagine getting to 40 and feeling this way still. So something has to change. Yeah, I understand that. It must be hard for you to stay in your situation. Um, it seems that everybody else was moving on into the right direction. And they're having their kids, they're getting their PhDs, they're doing their jobs, but you things to be stuck in your situation and um, not moving on. It seems that you also um, does have a job that is not being satisfied by you. And, and tell me how does um, uh, you tell me how does you got your job uh, opportunity? Um, I honestly was talking to, I finished university, I did some traveling with friends in the year after that, and then I was, I came back and I ran into a family friend, and she knew of an office that had an opening, and yeah, I said, okay, that's great. Because I didn't, really have any, I didn't have anything else I was really interested in. So I just said yes. It seems that you are not that interested in your job. Oh, no, not at all. I, I, I mean, I've, I've been doing it for 10 years, but really life is kind of, yeah. I... I I would never say I love my job. I mean, there's some okay aspects about it and it's flexible and it it's good. It's okay money, but I I'm I yeah, I really I don't love it. And I I at the end of the day too, I'm I just really feel like kind of Every day is wasted sitting there. It's not an important wasted. job. Wasted. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, now, what do you mean by wasted? I just think, like, I'm not doing anything that I'm interested in, and I'm not doing anything that is interesting. So I just kind of feel like, why, why am I doing that? And how did I get to a place where I've been doing that for 10 years? Wow, like, you have been there for 10 years in your job? Yeah, I have. Doing the, the, doing the same thing? Yeah, I've just been in... I, wow. Yeah. That must be hard for you to stay on your job you almost every day, doing similar things. And um, you seem... Um, have you ever thought about uh, moving to an, another position or changing your job? I guess I think, okay, I, I I don't know what I would do. Yeah, I, I thought about kind of, I, I don't want to be doing this in five years, but I don't really know. I, I haven't been in school for 12 years. I... Like, I'm not really qualified. I got just a general degree in history. So I I don't really, I don't know what I would do if I left here. And I don't know that it would be more interesting and kind of, yeah. I don't, I don't know what skills or even interests I really have. Mm -hmm. Sounds that you are being um, puzzled about uh, what you can do um, if you left the job you currently have and and uh, things that uh, you would like to change but you don't know how um, how the change could be possible and um, does that sound correct? Yeah, that's right. I I I like I don't want to do this 
for mu for much longer, but I don't really know what. I kind of feel like I don't have any direction or purpose, and and like my mom was the same way. She did the same thing, and she kind of she's turning seventy this year, and she has the same at seventy. She's thinking that she wasted her life, and I think I I don't want to end up. In, I don't want to do this for another 35 years and end up feeling like I wasted my life. Um, I understand you. I understand you. You don't want to be like your mom and doing similar things and for continuous because um, it's a very long time. And um, 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 let me summarize. Um, you have you are turning thirty five years old and you were um, not married and the rest of your friends have been married and having their job. You think to be uh, lost about uh, what you are going what about your life. You are not satisfied by your current kind of job situations, but um, you would like to change. But it seems. Uh, to be difficult. Um, you things don't have uh things to you that you don't have other skill to find you suitable for you to find another job. The most uh, uh, deep, uh mostly you don't want to be like your mom, uh, who uh, living uh who is the uh, uh, um does not have any purpose uh in her life. You don't want to be like living a life that like that. Um, uh, definitely you would like to change, but you are things to be stuck over there. Uh, is that the right um, summary? Yeah, that's, I, yeah, I, I definitely want to see a change. I, I, yeah, you got it. Mm, mm. Uh, given what we talked about, uh, is there any goals that you would like to achieve during the few sessions we meet? I think, yeah, I think maybe figuring out what I want and what I what I'm interested in, and kind of how to do that. I, I guess, just to make a plan. I think for how, where there's going to be change or how there's going to be change because I can't really see it right now. Mm -hmm. That sounds very reasonable. Um, is there any other goals that you would like to achieve? Um, I think I think if we could, if I could get a plan for for doing something that's different than what I'm doing now, I think that I think that would be good. Mm, get a plan that can change your life, change what you are uh, currently doing. Um, that also sounds reasonable and uh, good to see you and thanks for sharing with you with me about your struggles and we'll work on uh, in the few sessions uh, regarding your situation and is next time this week work for you as well? Yeah that, that works. Next works well. week. Okay good uh, thank you very much see you take care thank you